Greetings YouTube, I'm Master Moses, and welcome back once again to Pokemon Showdown. Joining me is Prince B. Hey everyone. Today we are going to launch into our fifth battle of our designated six. This being the battle titled For Fun. This is not necessarily those that have made it into our final team, but they are competitive and we just inevitably end up with a box sitting there that you can pull from to put together a team. This is kind of what we've got gathered here today. Uh, so without I'm seeing some uh, similarities on our team over here. We've got some guys in common. <laughs> we do. I actually I hadn't even uh, looked yet. Sure enough, we got two. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and launch on in. All right, so let's see. Mr. Squishy, huh? Yes. Hmm. I'm going to lead off with fairly standard. Get some uh, of this going. I'm sure. Elvis. Yeah, because he's fat and he's a ghost. <laughs> uh, mine is Sharake, which is a portmanteau of Shark and Drake, because he's a shark dragon. Ah, very interesting in combination. I could definitely see it. Uh, now, hey, I gotta ask for today's question. Since this is for fun, and we're kind of doing this retrospective on the past six generations... Which would be your favorite, and for that matter, your least favorite? Oh, you, you have to add least favorite on there. I'm going to get so much hate. <laughs> Not I'm as much as I probably mountains will. Of hate because oh, trust me, I'll get more. Favorite is a fan favorite. Oh, tell me about it. All right. Uh, favorite gen, it changes a lot, like, every time I think about it. Uh, but I think... At the moment, it would be Gen 4. Uh, I know it's kind of a lot of people's least favorite Gen. Uh, 4 and 5, two of my more favorite Gens, uh, are ones that a lot of people dislike. Uh, part of that's kind of just nostalgia. That's when I was getting back into Pokemon from uh, when I was a kid and I kind of grew out of it. Uh, 4 was what really brought me back into it. Uh, and I mean, I, I still think it's a solid gen. Uh, definitely it has some flaws, but uh, I, I, I think it's kind of a... It, it, it's looked down upon a lot, even though it did a lot of great things like the uh, types, the type split uh, between uh, physical special. Uh, among other things, bringing some love for some older evolutions like Weavile over here. Uh, just a lot of things that Gen 4 did in addition to being the one that got me back into it that just kind of give it a special place in my heart. Uh, Absolutely. As for it brought in favorite, a lot of new uh, features with that move in systems. It definitely made a big change. Yeah. Uh, least favorite Gen, and here comes the hate. I don't care that much for Johto. Uh, Gen 2, not my favorite region. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I saw that one coming. I know I know, everyone really loves it. Uh, and I, I get why, but I just... I didn't... I mean, I didn't grow up with Johto that much. Uh, I caught, as a kid, I caught, like, the last little bit of the anime... Uh, but it just didn't really click with me. Uh, the region felt kind of a mess. I felt like uh, they spent a lot of time trying to... They, they divided their attention between trying to keep the nostalgia with the going back to Kanto, and Johto as a region itself suffered because of that, if that makes any sense. It does, and I could absolutely see that as a common complaint with it. Um... You know, I'd actually, a just to be totally contrarian, I'd have to give my favorite to Johto, which I, I was honestly really torn about this. There are undoubtedly things that could be said for every generation along the way. 
But Definitely. The, the reason I had to give it to Johto, one, nostalgia affects it for sure. My, fo my first game was Pokemon Crystal. I got it on my seventh birthday, and that just started everything. But I liked that if it had been, as it was originally planned, as sort of the final game, the fact that you went back and fought the original generation really stood out as just a really clever way of ending it. Oh, definitely. It would have been great if they could have... Uh, I, I think they were they wanted originally to have a way for you to uh, actually carry over your data and you could actually fight your Elite Four, your team that beat the Elite Four in the original games in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, right? I believe so. That would have been absolutely fascinating had they implemented it. Um... There's really is so many things it was, that they I think worked the problem on. was just a lot of they had a lot of things they wanted to do but they had le technical <laughs> limitations that kind of prevented that. Exactly. I think if we had had the version that we eventually got with Heart Gold and Soul Silver from the get-go, which is more of what they wanted to do, I think it would have been remembered even perhaps at a better level. Yeah. Now as for least favorite, and like I said, you think you got, uh, you're gonna get some hate. I'd have to say my least favorite is going to be Gen Three. Oh, Gen Three, that it, one's actually kind of divisive. I I saw a lot of people uh, leading up to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I saw so many people wanting it that I just assumed everyone loved it. And it, then it turned out, like, afterwards, I heard a lot of more people saying that they really didn't care that much for Gen 3. So I think it was just a lot of people who really loved it being really vocal. And I think it's one of the more divisive Gens. Exactly. I, I, for, and don't get me wrong, Ooh. I loved Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They absolutely <laughs> made this. me love Hoenn. I enjoyed those a great deal. But when it came to the originals, it just, it didn't click with me, I guess. It, I don't know how else to say it, but it just, it, it never really was satisfactory. Yeah. And again, none of this is to say that it's a bad game per se, because I wouldn't say that about any generation. Oh yes, I think the weakest Pokemon games are still great compared to many many other games Absolutely. and that you just completely decimated me there congratulations on that thank you and better er, like next time when it comes to the final challenge coming up yeah uh, but We're just to just three to, to two. wrap that up uh yeah i, I think it, it's definitely you can make an argument for anyone and i think uh that's what's great about pokemon is each game is something different to someone else. Even if you don't enjoy it, there's definitely someone out there who does. So I try not to be overly uh, critical of anything because chances are there's someone out there who just really loves it. It was their childhood. And, you know, no, no need to be confrontational about it. Well, exactly. And even the generations that I named as far as, like, Gen 3... I've played through Gen 3 games so many times because oh, they are endlessly replayable. There yes, is absolutely uh, gotten that all the Battle Frontier badges. Uh, uh, did like the hundred win streak in the Battle Tower, uh, and that was coming off of me going backwards from Gen 4, where I had to get used to a lot of the things that they had changed for Gen 4. And had to kind of relearn everything again. Exactly. Just to adjust to that. So that was a challenge, but I still enjoyed it enough to do all those things that I really didn't have to do. Well, exactly. And while it took me a while to get back to it, I eventually rebuilt everything on Emerald after a middle school supposed friend decided to delete over my save. He knows who he is. But uh, on that note... I, Definitely a, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and head on over to Prince B's channel because coming up is going to be our epic clash for glory, our final battle with our best teams. 
But... And hopefully it's a little less one-sided. <laughs> exactly. At least for my sake, because that was very sad. Yeah, that was uh, that took me uh, by surprise. But uh, here's to hoping for an epic clash. And for right now, this is Master Moses. And Prince B. Signing out. Signing out. Thanks for watching.